Good evening, Carla. Good evening. Hello, how are you today? Um, I am tired, but it's fine, more or less. Okay, all right, that's fine. And how about your day? How was it? Working. Okay. All right, that's fine. In the platform, Carla, how are you doing? Um, finish. I finish. You finished. Nice. Did you get your certificate? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Congratulations. Very well. Hello, Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Fine, fine. Okay. And you? Good. I'm pretty good, thanks. Uh, how was your day? Um, it's very well. Good, good. Okay, nice. What did you do today? Did you work? Just a or a lot of girl. All right. Okay, good. And the platform, Janet, you're done, right? What? You're done with the platform. Plastic. You're done with the platform. Don't understand, yeah. don't understand. Okay, don't worry. Ya terminó con la plataforma, ¿verdad? You're done with the platform. Pero, pero tengo que, que repasarlo, todo este, seguir repasando porque, okay. ejemplo, los, ah, sí, me, me cuestan unas cositas ahí. Okay, bien, All right, gracias. that's fine. Bien, bien. And uh, you could sí. solve the exercise you asked me about. Eh, Pudo resolver el ejercicio que, que, del que me preguntaba, ¿verdad? Ah, este, pero ya lo, ya lo, es el ejercicio de, de donde se ponen a, el, arriba el, el apóstrofe. Apóstrofe, y luego, yes. que, y, y luego, ah, el nombre pasa, el último pasa adelante, o sea, el nombre uh -huh. que quedaba. Yes. Y este, ajá, y lo, lo hice, creo que está, que está, creo que está bueno. Ajá, es que okay. no, no podía, no entendía. Uh -huh. Oh, all right, but don't worry. Whenever you need help, just let me know, okay? Cuando necesite sí. ayuda, ahí dígame. Y sí, eh, bueno, gracias. en lo que entran los compañeros, si gusta, podíamos eh, chequear el ejercicio ahí, aunque sea rapidito. Ah, está bien. Um, mi este bien. Era el de, el de, aquí lo tenía en el, en el papelito, ¿verdad? El ok. El, el donde, donde se da... De los apóstrofes, quiero ver. Permitatis, uh -huh. my sister, husband. Ah, no, no es este, este no es. Que lo hice. Porque es donde estaba que Aarón, el nombre de, de él, Aarón, y luego que tenía que ser Aarón, apóstrofe. Mm -hmm. eh, um, era por, de propiedad. El, el, pero no, le, no lo tengo. Yeah, I have it here. Ah, pero lo, lo creo que en el teléfono lo... lo... Ok, so it's this one, right? Um, color of the dog, so what would it be? I think we didn't check it yesterday, right? Este ya no lo revisamos ayer, yo creo que no. Ah, sí, like, ese uh -huh. también es lo que estaba, pero ajá, color of the dog. Ok. Ahí íbamos a hacer, right, decente, sí, sí, sí. Posesivo, usando posesivo, dijo. Mm, yes, so it would be like number one, it, the dog's color. Number ah, the dog's two. color. Eh, okay, give me a second. I'm going to get more space because I cannot write here. The space. ¿Cómo? What? Ah, nada más voy a hacer un poco más de espacio porque no tengo espacio para escribir las respuestas. No me siento. Ah, sí. Good evening. Ah, sí, estos son, estos son los que nos quedamos. Yes, ah. right. 
Yes, 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 so. Okay, we're going to check. Uh, sí. Okay. Porque es el color of the dog. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So here we would say the dog's color. Uh -huh. the, the, the color. Uh -huh. Next one is the friends of Aaron. The friend of Aaron is the uh, the Aaron Aaron friends. Okay. In that case, we say Aaron's friends. Friends. The yellow cookies of my grandmother is mm, este yes. uh, grand, grandmother cookies. My grandmother cookies. My grandmother cookies. Grandmother's cookies. The boys el friend of care. Oh, el friend of care. The girl, egg, uh, a nombre, egg, bird's right? egg. Uh -huh. egg. Bird's uh -huh. egg. Uh -huh. Okay, number five, best friend of a girl. But my, my uh, mom of the of David. Uh, number five, best friend of a the, girl. The David, David's mom. Okay, and Carol's best friend. Then we have David's mom. Okay. Among the baby. ¿Cómo sería? David's mom. No es. Ah, David's mom. Ah, pues sí, yes. sí. Uh -huh. And then we have flowers of Jane. The, the, the Jane flower. Jane no lleva la... flowers. Uh -huh. Flower. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Good. Number eight. Share of Tico. Would you come? Tico. Because of oh, share. Number nine, work of Mauricio. Mauricio's work. Mauricio's work. Good. And number 10, cell phone of the teacher. The teacher's cell phone. The teacher's cell phone. Number 11, ban of my boyfriend. My boyfriend's ban. My boyfriend's van. ¿Qué es qué van? <laughs> Camioneta. Ah, That's what it means. Achi. Yes. A class of Mr. Zamora. Mr. Zamora's class. Yes, Mr. Zamora's class. Excuse me, are you seeing what I am um, writing? ¿Pueden ver lo que estoy escribiendo? No. Sí, es que no sé, por alguna razón me sale acá. No, no se oye. Screen sharing is fast. All right, how about now? Ahora sí pueden ver las respuestas. Sí. Sí. Okay. All right, good. So we have number 13, first of Luciana. Luciana's first. Luciana's first. Number 14, shoes of Carlos. Carlos shoes. Carlos shoes. Carlos, there you only need the apostrophe. Carlos. Sí. And number 15, clothes. <clears throat> Excuse me, clothes of my cousin. My cousin. Say my, my cousin cousin's clothes. clothes. So those are the answers we have. Este, uh, por ejemplo, En estas terminadas en ese que solo se le agrega el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 
yeah. este, cuando se pronuncia, suena lo mismo como que no llevara apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Um, well, in that case... Uno que... Ajá. You would say like Carlos's, Carlos's shoes. Uh, you add like the S at the end, Carlos's shoes. So that's, that's how you pronounce it. Um, okay, any other questions about this? No more, we're clear. Okay, so let's see. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our class. Let me see how many participants I got. Okay. All right, nice. That's a good number. So let's start with the class. Well, we have already checked the exercise we were doing yesterday, and now we are starting class number 14. Let me tell you what we are going to do. We're going to talk about a present continuous today. So we're going to explain it and then we're going to develop some practice. So by the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. And the first thing that we need to know in order to use the present continuous is how to make the ing form of the, of the verbs. So we have so we have some rules for doing that. The general rule says that we have to add ing. For example, in the case of work, we add ing and it becomes working. Then we have build, building, go, going, do, doing. But then uh, we have the verbs that end in e. For those ones, what we have to do is to drop the E and add ING. For example, live, it becomes living. So here you see we have an E, we remove it, we keep it, we skip it, and then we add ING, it becomes living. Use, it becomes using, write, writing, move, moving. Then we have the verbs that end in IE. In that case, you have to change the IE to a Y. And then at ING, for example, lie. Lie becomes lying. Lying with Y I N G. Die, dying, tie, tying. And we also have the one syllable CVC words. So that means consonant, vowel, consonant, words. And in those ones, we have to double the last consonant and add ing. For example, here we have one syllable, fit, it's consonant, s, vowel, i, and consonant, t. So in that case, I need a double t at the end, at the end of the, the, the original word, right? So we would say sitting with double T, sitting. Get, getting, plan, planning. So those are the rules. Estas son las reglas que tenemos para eh, cambiar los verbos a la forma de ING, ING. La regla general dice que hay que agregar ING. So we have some examples here, work, working, then, eh, Luego tenemos los verbos que terminan en E. En el caso de los verbos que terminan en E, vamos a quitar la E y vamos a agregar ING. And, for example, live, living. ¿Se fijan ahí ya el living? No lleva E. La hemos quitado y en lugar de la E hemos puesto ING. Luego tenemos verbos que terminan en I. E, I, E, for example, lie, por ejemplo, el verbo lie, en ese caso vamos a cambiar la combinación I, E por una I griega y agregamos el ING, we got line. Luego también tenemos que considerar el caso de las 
de, las, de los verbos, perdón, que son de una sola sílaba y siguen la combinación eh, consonante, vocal, consonante, consonant, vowel, consonant. En ese caso vamos a, eh, vamos a double, vamos a poner doble consonante al final. Por ejemplo acá, sit, sitting, este sitting lleva doble T, get, getting, doble T. And the same happens for plan. Any questions about this? No. No questions? Okay, let's practice the verbs. Repeat, please. Work. 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 Working. 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 Feel. Feel. Building. Building. Go. 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 Do, 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 go, doing, going, doing, doing, do, do, live, 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 doing, living, 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 use, 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 living, use, write. Right, right, grinding, grinding, move, move, Plan. Plan. Planning. 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 Okay, do you understand the meaning of all the verbs we have here? Entendemos el significado de todos los verbos que tenemos? Or do you have any questions? Uh, Which one? Die. 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 Morir. Okay. Tie, teñir. Tie. Uh -huh. Okay, let's continue then. Now that we know this, we're going to practice by adding more verbs to the list. So here we have some verbs. What I needed to do with them is to write the corresponding ing forms. For example, in the case of swim, we get the ing form swimming, right? Swimming. swimming. Remember, it takes double M, swimming. And play, playing, watch, watching, and so on, right? What I want you to do is to complete that in the breakout rooms. I'm going to give you some time so you practice and remember about the rules. Remember to apply the rules, please. Um, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms now, and I'm sending you a picture in a month. Okay, I just opened the rooms. There we go.
no se escuchaba. Por un rato no se escuchaba. ¿Era, era ahí o era o en mi computadora? Um, hi. Ah, pues. Sí, Pero ya está la, Hay una sala, entonces, ahorita. Hay una sala. No, Janet, you didn't go to any room. No se fueron a ninguna sala, ustedes. Eh, como no estoy con Wilfredo y con Julio, mm, lo que no tuve mm, fue. Este, ah, vaya, pero, entonces está bien. Es que yo creí que me había quedado sin, sin señal. Ah, permítame, Jan. Si sí, no sé qué pasó aquí con los rooms, a ver, la voy a enviar ahorita. Okay, uh, can you hear me, Janet, Julio, and Sonia? Uh, vocal consonante. Mm -hmm. Uh, teacher, uh, wash yes. uh, sería watching. Watch watching, yes. Solo se le agrega ing o se uh -huh. la i n. In that case, it's only ing. Ing. Yes. Ah, okay. And reads. Said. Ready. 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 Sí, red, ready. Red. Eh, read, read. 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 Se le, se le agrega el ING siempre. Sí. ¿Dance? Luego sería dance. Uh -huh. eh, dance. Ahí se le cambia, se le quita la E y se agrega el ING. Uh -huh. okay. Y que termina en E. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Luego listing. Eh, Ahí solo se le agrega ING. En listing no sería doble N. No. ¿Por qué? Es que es solamente cuando es eh, una palabra con... Una consonante, una vocal, una consonante y hasta ahí nomás. Pero en este caso tiene más. Ah, ya, 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 ya. ¿Cuándo son palabras cortas? Uh -huh, correcto. Ok. ING se le agrega. Sí. De, luego sería PAIN. Sería ING de PAIN. Ajá. Uh -huh. Después de Paint sería Make. En Make, ahí se, le, se, se quita la E y se agrega ING. Ok. Right. De igual manera. Sí. Right. Reading. Right, right. Reading. Ok. Lure. Leer, se le agrega ING, learning. Ok. Voy, voy, o bye. Y en bye. Bye, bye. takes only ING. Buying. ING. ING. Ok. Bye. 
Is correct. Bye. That is right. Okay, thanks, teachers. They clean. This is the agregation. Eh, estud, estud, study. Study. Es quitaríamos la i y sería ing. 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 This way? No, sir. <laughs> Teacher. Which one? Study? Study? It takes ING. Study studying. At ING. Y se le quita la, 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 la I. No, y. No, keep it. Y. You keep it. Se la mantienen. Okay. They have. Ahí se le quita la E y se agrega ING. ING. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sleep. Sleep. Se le agrega ING. Se agrega. Ajá, se agrega ING. Esa nuevamente May. Se repite May. Mm -hmm. oh, it's twice. Oh. Dry. So, we here and Drilling. E world. World. Le agregamos ING. Sí. Finish. You finished. Okay, very yes. well. All right, so we're coming back in 60 seconds. See you there. Okay. Entrar la clase. Okay, we're Hola, coming back. Okay, we're going to solve it together, don't worry. Um, well, in that case, um, you do not take into account the last letter in the word. En, en realidad, no tomamos en cuenta la última letra de la palabra, sino las reglas en sí. Por ejemplo, en el caso de plan, lo vamos a, a hacer doble porque tenemos la combinación consonant, vowel, consonant. Acá tenemos consonante, vocal y consonante al final. Entonces, por eso es que tenemos que hacer la doble, no es realmente por la, la letra. Permítanme, voy a apagar micrófonos. Ok, entonces, realmente no tomamos en cuenta el, la letra final, sino que en este caso lo que vamos a tomar en cuenta es la, la combinación de letras que tenemos. Tenemos una sola sílaba, o sea, eh, los verbos cortos palabras cortas, que llevan la combinación consonante, vocal, consonante, consonant, vowel, consonant. En, ese, en esos casos es que voy a poner doble, voca, doble consonante, perdón, al final, y sin importar cuál consonante es la que tenga. Is it clear now? Let's see, we are going to check together so we make sure we get the right answers. So we have swim, it becomes swimming. Next swim. one, play. play, what do I add? Yes, playing, I add ing only. Next we have watch. Watching. 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 
only ing. And then let me display the whole list. Okay, here we go. Next one, read. Reading. 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 Dance. Dancing. 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 In that case, you remove the E and add ING. Listen. Listening. 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 We add ING. Paint. Painting. Painting. With ING. Make. Making. Making. Making again, we remove the E and we add ING. Write. Writing. 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 Here we go. Let me go to the next part of the list. Okay. And then we have learn. It becomes learning. Learning. Learning, learning. by. Buying. Buying. Buying with ing. Clean. Cleaning. 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 Study. Study. Studying. In these um. cases, even though they uh, end in y, we just add i. In esos casos, termina en y y a pesar de eso pues le agregamos el ing aunque eh, con el con la pronunciación pues digamos que sería repetitivo pero es así la regla de spelling so we only add ing ahí solo hay que agregar el ing then we have uh, the verb have having, having. having. It having. having. sleep sleeping sleeping sleeping, sleeping. sleeping. Make, <coughs> making, 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 drive, driving, 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 driving and walk, walking, walking, walking. walking that. Okay, there we go. Let's practice <laughs> pronunciation. Repeat: swimming, swimming, swimming. swimming. swim, swimming. swimming. Swing, playing, play, 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 watch, watching, watch, 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 read, reading, read, reading, dance, dancing. Listen, listening. Listen, Paint, painting. Make, making. Make, Ride, riding. Right. Learn, learning. Le learn, learning. Buy, buying. Buy, buying. Clean, cleaning. Clean, cleaning. Study, studying. Having. Have, having. Have, having. Sleep, sleeping. Sleep, sleeping. Make, making. Make, making. Drive, driving. Driving. Walk, walking. Walking. Okay, good. Let's continue by talking a little bit on how to make sentences in the present continuous. So just let me move this. So we use the present continuous for talking about actions happening now at the moment of speak of speaking. 
utilizamos el presente continuo para hablar de cosas que están pasando en el momento, ahora, al momento de hablar, al momento de expresarlo. And uh, the structure that we use is subject, verb B, verb in ing, and complement. Some examples, let's make them. So we would say, for example, the teacher is explaining. The teacher is explaining. Let's complete the present continuous. The teacher is explaining the present continuous. What are you doing, the students? What are the students doing? Can we make some examples? We, we are um, studying English. We are studying English. Well, also I could say you are paying attention. Mm -hmm. You are paying attention. Let's see, let's make another one. That's the students are learning. The students are learning. Can we make another one using she? She is watching TV. She is watching TV. Let's make another one with he. He is reading a book. He is reading a book. Okay, we got plenty of examples. So you see, we always need a subject. In this case, the teacher, we, you, the students, she or he, the verb, the verb be, which goes in the forms is, is are, uh, or it could also be am is. in the case of I. So it depends on the subject. Siempre recuerden que el verb be va a ser dependiendo de todo. The teacher is, he or he is, we are, you are, I am, right? And then we add the, the verb in ing. We have explaining, studying, paying, learning, watching, and reading. At the end, we add the complements, right? The person continues, English, attention, and so on. So that is a structure for making sentences in the present continuous. <laughs> it's very important that you always use these two elements the verb be and the verb in ing. Siempre, siempre hay que utilizar estos dos, el verb be y el verbo en ing. No puede faltar ninguno de los dos porque entonces la oración estaría incompleta y en muchos casos perdería eh, su sentido. For example, we can never say she is explain. She is explaining. Ese sería incorrecto. Tiene que ser she is explaining. Or if explaining. we change this to we studying, we studying eh, is not correct because we're missing It's the verb right. be. En este caso estaríamos, nos faltaría el verb be. Entonces es incorrecto también. Um, it's different when you use the contracted forms. Eh, sin embargo, hay que mencionar que sí podemos usar las contracciones acá. En, en el we studying, por ejemplo, we would say we're, we're studying, we're studying. Right? So you could also use the contracted forms. That is correct. Eso sí sería correcto. Utilizar las contracciones es permitido. For example, here you, you would also say you're paying attention. You're paying attention. She's watching TV. He is reading a book. So you could also do that, but you can never miss any of the elements, right? You always need the verb be and the verb in ing. Any questions, doubts? Okay, let's move on. Uh, some expressions we can use with sentences in the present continuous are now, right now, or at the moment. Estas son expresiones que podemos utilizar 
cuando hacemos oraciones en el present continuous. For example, you would say, um, we're living right now. We're living right now. Nos vamos ahora, right? En este momento. We're living right now. Or um, you're practicing now. You're practicing now. Está practicando ahora or in este momento again. And let's make one using at the moment. Let's say my mom is sleeping at the moment. My mom is sleeping at the moment. So you see how we add the time expressions at the end, right now, now, or at the moment. Estas las agregamos siempre al final, right? We're living right now. You're practicing now. My mom is sleeping at the moment. And the next thing we need to know is um, for making sentences in the previous in the present continuous, excuse me, is making negative sentences. For that, we follow a, a similar structure, except that we add not right after the verb be. We have the subject, the verb be, not, the verb in ing, and the complement. Then, Let's make some examples of negative sentences. She isn't playing tennis. Okay, very well. She isn't playing tennis. She is not playing. Any other example you can make? He is not writing a book. Is not reading a book. Okay. Reading a book. Any other? We are not swimming. We are not swimming. He isn't watching TV. He isn't watching TV. Can you make another one? They are not driving. They're not driving. Very well. So you see, we always use the subject at the beginning, then the verb be, then we add the not. I'm not, isn't, is not, are not, isn't, or are not, right? Always in that, a, in that way in that order, and then after the not, we add the ing verb. We have eating, playing, reading, swimming, watching, and driving, and then the compliments. So that's pretty much it. Let's continue. Now let's talk about the present continuous questions. He has no questions. Normally in a sentence, we have the structure subject, verb B, verb in ing, and complement, as in we are listening to music. In the case of the questions, we change the order of the elements in the sentence, and we get the subject in the second position and the verb B in the first position. So it becomes, are we listening to music? Are we listening to music? So it wouldn't be the it wouldn't be the same structure anymore, but we change it to verb B plus subject. Then after the subject, we would add the verb in ing and then the complement and the question mark, of course. And question mark. So that's how it goes, right? We change the order of the elements. Siempre para hacer las preguntas vamos a cambiar el sujeto a la segunda posición. 
ya no va al inicio de la oración, sino que eh, cambiamos el verb be al inicio. So we have, are we listening to music? Can we make some more examples? Let me get some questions from you. Mm -hmm. For example, if I ask you, are you paying attention? Are you paying, are you paying attention? attention? And then how to answer them? Well, you can answer, yes, we are. Or, no, we're not. Make another one, please. Yes. Are, are he, are he, is she, is she eating pasta? Okay, let's say, is he eating pasta? Answers? Yes. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Or? No, 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 no he, he isn't. Is no, he isn't. Is Make another one, please. Oh, yes. Are they eating? I just say eating. Eating pizza. Okay, are they eating pizza? Answer, yes. Yes. Yes, they are. They are. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Great. Let's make another one. Let's use is she. Is she driving a car? Is she driving a car? And the yes. answer is yes, yes, she is. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. No, no, she isn't. Okay, so that's pretty much it about questions. And then remember that we also have the long answers, right? So here we would say, for example, let me try to write it here. Are you paying attention? Yes, we are paying attention. Or no, we are not paying attention. In the case of is he eating pasta? Yes, he is eating pasta. No, he isn't eating pasta. Are they eating pizza? Can you make the long answers, please? No, uh, are they eating pizza? Yes, they yes. are eating pizza. They are eating pizza. They are no, they pizza. Are they eating pizza. aren't eating pizza. Very well. Is he yes. driving a car? Yes, yes. he is driving a car. No, she is driving a car. Driving a car. Okay, he very well. So that is what we have for making yes, no questions in the present continuous. Now let's talk about the WH questions in this uh, tent. Well, it's, the structure is pretty similar, right? We would use, except that we would use a WH word at the beginning. So we have WH word, then we add the verb be, and then the subject, then the verb in ing, and the complement and question mark. For example, when I ask you, let me get a different color. Ooh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Can you make another one? When do you start? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, no problem. Who are you? Uh, who are you would be person simple. 
Oh. Remember to use ing. My name is Michael Cody. I'm Jennifer Moore. It's nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice okay, you. let's say, who are you waiting for? Waiting. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? Yeah. Why is Wait. your sister crying? Why is your sister crying? Um, let me see. When were you started giving? No. Why is you talking? Why are you talking? Why are you talking? Any other? When, when is was was uh, for this? Whoa. Can you repeat it, please? When? When? Uh, I know it's continue of work. <laughs> okay, what do you want to say? ¿Qué es lo que queremos decir? Ajá. Es, when is? ¿Cuál era la? la when, when, when? When are we uh, playing when, football? When are we playing football or playing soccer? Please. When are we playing soccer? soccer? Okay. okay, so we got some examples. Now let's try to make the answers. Let's try to answer them. What are you doing? What can you tell me? Mm. I going. To... I am I... doing. I am. No. I am yeah. studying. I am. Working. I am studying. I am working. I am eating dinner. I am listening to the teacher. I am paying attention. Uh, what else can we say? I'm traveling, I'm walking. I mean, many, many things, right? I'm talking to you. And yeah, then, yeah. Uh, what are you going? Answer. I, I am going to the park. I am going to the park. I'm going to the park. I'm going to the office. I'm going to school in many different places you can mention. Next one is, who are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? I'm waiting my brother. I'm waiting for my brother. Okay, then we have, why is your sister crying? Um, um, I crying. She is crying, crying. crying or because uh, she is crying. The pet she's is crying because, because because okay. Let's say her pet died. Okay, good example. Or we could also say she is crying because she is sad. And also remember that whenever we have a question with why, we answer using because. Siempre recuerden que cuando tenemos preguntas con why, las respondemos utilizando because. ¿Por qué? Porque, right? Why is your sister crying? ¿Por qué está llorando tu hermana? Because her pet died. Porque su mascota murió, right? Then a uh, next question is why are you talking? Why are you talking? I'm talking. Uh -huh. I'm talking. Because yes. My teacher. Uh -huh. uh, have a question. Is asking questions. Asking. Uh -huh. Good. I'm talking because my teacher is asking questions. And the last one, when are we playing soccer? I 
playing. We are playing. Tomorrow. We are playing soccer tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Fine. Tomorrow morning, if you want to be more specific. That's good. Now let's practice the questions. Repeat, please. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? doing? I am studying. I, I am, am studying. studying. Where are you going? Where are, Where are you, you, are are you going? going? I am going to the park. I am, I am going, going to, to, park. to the park. Who are you waiting for? Who are you, Who are you waiting, waiting for? for? I'm waiting for my brother. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, waiting, waiting for, my for my brother. Why is your sister crying? Why is she Why crying? Is she crying? She is crying because her pet died. She is crying because her pet died. Why are you talking? We are Why are you talking? Why? Why are you talking? Why are you talking? I'm, I'm talking, talking because my teacher is asking questions. I question. When are we playing soccer? When are we playing soccer? We are playing soccer tomorrow morning. We are playing soccer tomorrow morning. All right. Do you have any questions, any doubts about this? No. All right, fine, and that would be all for today's class. Let me just remind you, well, next week we are going to keep practicing this topic. And uh, let me remind you that you should be done with the platform by Monday. Déjenme recordarles que el día lunes ya tendrían ustedes que haber terminado con los ejercicios en plataforma. So if you have not done so, please do it as soon as possible. Si aún no lo ha hecho, les pido por favor que completemos tan pronto como podamos, incluyendo el examen final. Debe haber completado hasta el examen final para el día lunes. So please, if you have not worked on that, do it as soon as possible. Por favor, si no lo han hecho, háganlo a la brevedad posible. And then, uh, well, next week we are going to continue practicing. So if you have any doubts about any of the topics, just let me know so I can prepare some material and we can review. El, la próxima semana vamos a seguir practicando. Tendríamos clase día lunes y martes. Entonces, si usted tiene alguna duda con alguno de los temas que ya hemos visto, o igual nos quedan un parcito de, de los temas cortos, Eh, si tienen alguna duda, me avisan por favor el día lunes o incluso si en el fin de semana están ahí revisando el material y encuentran alguna cosa que les gustaría reforzar, me avisan por favor para preparar material. Así podemos, eh, podemos profundizar un poquito más en los temas que ustedes necesitan reforzar. Okay, so I hope you have a nice weekend. I'll okay. see you on Monday. Take care. Good night. Good Thank night. you. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.